first off, congratulations to, to Paul Lambert and Aston Villa. Um, looking forward to watching them in the EPL because uh, certainly they uh, have a, a great intensity about them are, are really going after things. So it's exciting um, have two former players on that, that team uh, that just on a personal level I want to make sure that they're in a great spot and it seems like the coaching staff is doing a great job with them. So congratulations to Aston Villa and, and I think they're going to do well. You know that these EPL teams and teams from all Europe use a lot of these MLS matches as litmus tests. Did you use this match from Ternus that sort of tonight with the lineup that you that, that, that you put out to, to a start? Yeah, you're pretty smart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, uh, um, in all seriousness, that that's a great way for young players to test themselves. Um, to see if they're ready to play at that level. More importantly, to see if they're ready to play the kind of soccer that we are going to represent you know, every time we step on the field. Um, and that's a hard thing for young guys to understand, um, especially even harder to go do. Um, the, the mental toughness, the physical you know, preparation that has to go into playing the way that um, you saw our team play that last 30 minutes, that's the expectation. And I'm never going to drop that. Um, I, I, the first time I sat up here as the interim team manager, I said, hey, you know, we're going to play the, the way that the fans deserve to, to see the union soccer be played. And that's it. It's going to be, uh, I hope it's going to be high quality, but it's going to be about making sure that we're closing down space, that we're putting teams um, into, into pressure situations and then trying to get forward and get numbers in the box. And, uh, you know, proud of, proud of the way the, the team played there, for sure, at the end. thought we started off great, too. Some excellent soccer was played in that first half. But um, I think it's a growing process for a lot of young guys. You had a big game coming against New York on Saturday. But you started uh, a couple of starts tonight, Valdez and gave for our fans like Matt. Was that part of the agreement with Aston Villa, or was it just want to get them minutes? No, we just wanted to balance our, our roster a little bit so that we gave um, – a fair chance for all the guys to be successful. Uh, what we tried to do is make sure that um, a lot of the, the regular starters got in a good either 30 to 45 minute, you know, high intensity training session today, uh, which is a game. Uh, and so we just balanced that between the first and second half a little bit. So I thought with uh, Carlos and Amobi and, uh, you know, Gabe and, and Zach, it was an excellent way to, to really support some of those younger players. Gavi too, I mean, Gomez, you know, um, supporting Zach and, and Roger in front of him was was excellent. How how critical was it though to you know, you're you're also putting those guys out there in the heat, hot conditions? W was part of you concerned with how they'd respond or regenerate in advance of this Saturday match? No, um, look, I mean, th this if if we weren't playing tonight, we would have had a hard session today. Um, and it would have been a lot hotter. It was a lot hotter when I was watching the academy at 10.30 this morning. Um, so it was kind of a break because, uh, you know, we played under the lights. And while it was hot and humid, we kick off at 2.30 on uh, Saturday. So it's going to be worse. Um, so not at all because the training session, like, you know, we have a rhythm. We have a plan to how we prepare. And, and on a Wednesday when you're playing Saturday to Saturday, it's going to be a tough session. Uh, I mean, I think you got to get your feet wet and, um, you know, grow your confidence. Um, know what the players around you expect from you. Um, have the freedom to go make some mistakes and, and learn from it, really. Uh, and, you know, I think that's invaluable. So whether they played well or not, uh, it, 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 it's about a process of how they're going to learn to uh, to be good pros. What were some of the stylistic or qualitative differences between Aston Villa and your MLS competition? Uh, it, I mean, the Aston Villa plays a similar style to what a lot of our MLS teams do, to be fair. Um, but they probably had a little more quality to, to some of their players. Um, and, and for sure, the intensity that they brought from the, the start was excellent. Um, you know, so uh, Look, I'm not going to try to tell you that Major League Soccer is on the same par with the EPL, but I do think that we're a lot closer than people think. John, what, what players, some of the young players got a lot of playtime. What young players from those individuals have really stood up to you tonight that's you know, on the edge of starting to get more playtime? 
Well, I mean, Antoine's certainly one of them. Uh, you know, he's come off the bench, and, and there's a reason that he's coming off the bench, but we want to see if uh, he can now take his game to the next level. Um, Jimmy McLaughlin uh, is a young guy who we have great hope for and, and uh, feel like he can really play. But then you got Pfeffer and Hernandez and Roger Torres who, who can ball with anybody. And they, they showed that, you know, some of the combination play in the first half and getting out of tight spaces with one and two touch passes and nice combinations was excellent. Um, Ray Gaddis, uh, somebody who's already, you know, featured in the first team on a regular basis up to now. And, you know, he played 90 minutes and did a great job on uh, so, you know, happy with a lot of those guys, and, and really it's the opportunity to be on the field in front of these fans um, in a bit of a spotlight, if you will, uh, that's important for them. John, Josue Martinez, you could so far argue, was a bit of the reason why you guys had that uh, spark there towards the end. Where does that think, does he fit within this lineup? Uh, he's, he's moving himself up, I'll tell you that. Um, and, and I can't, couldn't be happier for Josue because I think he's a great example. I mean, he's only a 22-year-old um, trying to adapt, you know, coming into a, a new country and a new culture, and he is, he's getting it. Um, you know, and it's been tough for Josue, and, and, uh, but for him to play that way and for him to have the understanding and the awareness, um, I, I think it's fantastic. So he, he didn't do himself anything but, you know, move up the ladder a little bit tonight particular was really strong focus. Are you confident that he's 100% ready to go and ready to push for a, a starting spot now? I mean, I, look, I, I love Roger Torres. I've loved him since the day he got here. Um, but I don't think he is ready physically or mentally to play the kind of soccer that we're, uh, we're trying to play. Um, he is a fantastic technical player, um, but he really has to understand when to when to make decisions on the field and those decisions turn out to be um, everything in, in professional soccer so he's got so many great qualities um, but we still have to push him along for sure